good morning i have a message um oh it comes as a warning um destruction foretold um god brought me the scripture i had a very um disturbing dream um i watched it it wasn't so much disturbing um like it was sad um it involved death um And I woke up praying to, you know, combat it and renouncing everything. And I was really praying to God for clarity about this dream because it's like I seen it. Like, it's like I was I was watching it. It was like I was watching. I saw people crying. I saw people, even the dog, there was like a family dog or the dog was sad. Um, but in the dream, there was a bus that was like, like flipped on its side, uh, due to some sort of accident. Um, but it was due to like the dream. It was like someone wanted someone to murder someone and because they didn't murder someone, they wind up getting killed. Um, that's pretty much how I could, I could sum it up. Um, it is it's 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 not a literal dream it is symbolic it's a symbolic dream um so what took place in the dream is not going to to um <laughs> it, it's not going to happen the way that it happened in the dream it's it's symbolic towards something else that will be taking place um destruction is foretold um is what the dream was about okay it, it's also uh, symbolic to a, a suffering sinner, okay? Um, and God brought me the scripture, and he kind of moved me with the song that he gave me um, that comes from Psalms 37 and 29, or no, Hold on a second. Not 29. Um, 25. I'm sorry. So Psalms 37, 25, it says, I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. What well, says or abandoned in this version or his children begging for bread. And then he, had, he told me. And, and through song it says, you don't have to worry about a thing if you're holy and righteous. You don't have to worry about a thing if you're holy and righteous. Said I never been a lot of places, seen a lot of things, but I never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread you don't have to worry about a thing if you're holy and righteous said i never okay so that's the song right <clears throat> but that that came after he revealed scripture to me in regards to this dream so let's go to scripture psalms 37 32 through Forty, Yeah, pretty much. Psalms 37, 32 through 40. And it says, the wicked, the wicked one lies in wait for the righteous and intends to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in the power of the wicked one or allow him to be condemned when he is judged. <clears throat> Verse 34. Wait for the Lord and keep his way, and he will exalt you to inherit the land. You will watch when the wicked are destroyed. So this is what was taking place in my dream. Like I said, I walked up. I was watching something. 
Everybody, the family was crying. Even the dog, you know, was looking sad, was actually like laying at the crime scene or the accident scene. Um, and I was just watching. Everybody was crying. It was very sad. I, I didn't cry, though, in the dream. I When I arose from the dream, I, I really, like, I ain't really know how to feel. Like, I didn't feel sad. I felt weird. Um, and I felt like the dream was like a premonition, like something that is going to happen. Um, so I immediately started to pray to kind of renounce death and to cancel and stop, you know, killing or attacks and things like that. And, and God showed me what this pertaining to, um, it's pertaining to the wicked being cut off. Um, it says in verse 35, I have seen a wicked, violent person, well-rooted, like a flourishing native, like a, um, hold on, like a flourishing native tree. Then I passed by and noticed he was gone. I searched for him, but he could not be found. 37, watch the blameless and observe the upright for the person of peace will have a future. But the but transgressors will be eliminated. The future of the wicked one, or I'm sorry, the future of the wicked will be destroyed. In verse 38, it says, verse 39, the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. Their refuge in a time of distress. Verse 40, the Lord helps and delivers them. He will deliver them from the wicked and will save them because they take refuge in him. So this brought clarity in regards to um, the dream. Destruction is being foretold. Um, and then he brought me to Ezekiel at first. Um, I was led to, or is this? No, I was led to Ezekiel where it talks about, here we go. Ezekiel 35, where it talks about destruction of Mount Seir foretold. And then in verse 36, it talks about God's promises, Israel's restoration and blessings. Okay. So basically this is what God was illustrating to me, but he didn't actually break it down until like, until he brought me back to Psalms. Um, so <clears throat> this is pretty much what, you know, it's, it's almost like that right hand and that left hand. It's like that separation that I told you all of those who are righteous going to be on one side and all of those who are not going to be on another side. Um, so, I mean, you really need to choose and pick a side who you going to, you know, who, who side you on. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the reason why I was crying is because I was rejoicing because of what the Holy Spirit told me through that song. When he says, you don't have to worry about a thing if you're holy and righteous. Because, see, I was, I'm like, wow, Lord, like, what's going to happen? Like, I started to pray to combat this. I started to pray. Didn't know that I was praying to help the wicked. <clears throat> I was praying that the wicked don't be cut off. I was praying that God has mercy and grace upon whatever he just allowed me to see. Okay, so, um, yeah, God is not playing. Um, this is definitely a warning. It's also um, prophetic in nature, but it is symbolic. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that the wicked will be cut off through an accident or being killed, although I won't totally you know i won't totally disregard that um but you know remember we we know in part we prophesy in part so i'm just supposed to bring this message um may it serve as a warning for you guys to repent for you guys to really choose ye this day whom you gonna serve all right and really uh pick a side because you know one gonna be on one side the sheep's on one side and the goats on the other all right so it's really time to get serious repent you know go before the lord because what i saw in the dream was not i mean don't nobody want to wake up but don't nobody want to witness that people was just it was so many people crying like their whole family was 
crying. Okay, like hysterical tears. Like it was a lot of sadness in the dream. Um, But again, I wasn't sad. And I just had compassion towards the people. Um, But God allowed me to see this. And like he said, you will see when the wicked is cut off. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it, Lord, because I know it's going to be real sad. So I pray that you guys take heed to this message. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. All right. And do not take lightly what is being foretold, you know, what is being given to you as a warning right now. All right, in Jesus' name, I pray, Lord God, I thank you for this message. I thank you that your people will take heed. I thank you that your people will turn from their wicked ways. Choose ye this day who they're going to serve, Father God, that they will humble themselves and pray and seek your face, Father God. I pray that they become the righteousness of God, Father God. I pray your will for their lives. I pray that they really turn and really, really repent, Father God, with remorse in their heart. You know, with fear and trembling, Father God, I pray that they come to have a fear of you, Lord, and to know that you hold life and death in your hand, Father God. And I just pray that we be ready on judgment day. I pray that no one perishes for the lack of knowledge. I pray that no one perishes for disobedience, Father God. Um, In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. This is my prayer to you guys. Um, you don't have to worry about a thing. If you're holy and righteous. Said I never been a lot of places, seen a lot of things, but I never seen the righteous forsaken. Nor his seed begging bread. So rejoice, you know, if. You know, if you walk upright with Christ, because you will be fine. You know, there's a lot of things taking place in the world with the famine, with this, with that. But God promises that the righteous will not be forsaken, nor will his seed, nor will your children go hungry. All right. So I pray that this uh, helps somebody. I pray that it saves somebody in Jesus name. Amen.